Well, hello again, and welcome back to Ruby the Elite. And today, are we going to finish Volume 4 of the Elite 250? No, we're not. That is coming soon. What we're going to talk about today is a gadget that I use for my scooters. And that is, if you're not familiar with my channel, this is Ruby the Elite right there. She's a 1984 Honda Elite 125. I dabble in scooters, and that is my 2007 Yamaha Morphous. I love scooters. I love the hobby. I've got a couple of Elite 50s from 87 sitting behind me. I had a Ruckus. I also a PCX 150, an Elite 110, an Aero 50 from 87 and 86. Lots of scooters. And I know I'm missing a few that... I can't think of but this video is not about those bikes or this bike that I'm currently working on it's about something that helps me in order to work on these and that is a video that I've been meaning to make and I made it today for you it is about the Harbor Freight lift now there's probably 15 or 20 Harbor Freight lift videos on YouTube I don't want to bore you with the standard, this is what I like about it, this is what I don't, blah, blah, blah. I like the lift. Great product, but it's not the only thing this video is about today. It is 50% of it. Now, Harbor Freight has a chalk on it, a wheel chalk, that is not exactly something that works great with scooters. It's actually quite horrible. When it comes to working with scooters, it doesn't work. That morph is sitting over there. It will not even hold the bike straight at all because it can't get around the brake. The actual disc brake is in the way. So the one that was included with the Harbor Freight Lift is right there. And it is too small. It is too unsturdy. And Harbor Freight knows this because they offer other wheel chucks, so they know you're going to upgrade it anyway. But in order to keep the price down, I'm assuming that's why they give you that particular one. Now I did look online. I didn't have much luck. I ended up finding one, which we're going to discuss in a minute. But it was the only one. There are quite a few different ones that you can install on the Harbor Freight lift if you wish. But it seems that they're almost all based on a much bigger tire. The tires that are on these little scooters, they're 10 inch tires. Even Ruby the Elite is a 10 inch tire. So what are you going to use? I guess you could build something if you really wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd rather use something that was made to hold a scooter on the lift or on the floor, whatever. And there is a product like I said, that you can buy, and I did. These bikes mean a lot to me. This hobby means a lot to me. These vintage bikes, you can't find them, you know, anywhere. You, you, you very rarely find them, so you want to protect your investment. If you're going to lift them off the floor, you want to make sure that they're going to be safe and not fall off. So, what I ended up purchasing in order to work with this Harbor Freight Lift is right here. This is my SCC 4000 Condor wheel chuck. And you know, just by looking at it, it looks like it is a very well put together product. The materials that is used to build it looks like very solid steel. The installation was pretty easy as well you know it came with a set of four bolts and all I did was drill four holes into the lift to install it I'm not gonna bore you <laughs> showing you how to drill four holes so I already had that done before the video if I have to go over that then maybe we shouldn't be talking about a wheel check but now that I have it in place it is well constructed I you know, I don't think there's going to be any problem whatsoever when it comes to having bikes of any size use this. The ones that I've tried it on so far, it 
seems to work great. I don't want to say that this is a perfect, perfect device. I haven't had it long enough, but I can say in the short amount of time I've had it, I'm pretty impressed with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of different tires and how they lock in and how to adjust it just to give you an idea how to use it. And then after that later I'll show a couple of bikes on the actual chalk and how they look and whether or not you know they need any help or if it's safely putting the bikes in place. A lot of questions will be answered later. But the first thing I want to mention is it is made by Condor and it's $141. That's what I paid for it. And that seemed to be a pretty okay price. Maybe a little bit more than I think it should have cost. But at the end of the day, if it helps me in my back from needing surgery later, I think the $141 will be worth every penny. I wanted the first tire to be a very common tire. This is off of a PCX 150. A lot of you out there own this bike, so it's something that you might relate to. As far as how to use it, if you've never used one of these roll-on chocks, you just use the weight of the bike to hold it in place. So as you move it forward, now the bike isn't going to move, unless you pull it backwards, of course. But now it's in place, it's sturdy, and until you want to remove it, you just back it back up. It's held right here and also in the front right here. And that's it. It's very simple to use, folks, and it's all adjustable right there, depending on what size tire you're trying to use. Now, you're going to have to make sure that you pick the right size for safety reasons, of course, but you can also adjust it back here as well. You want to not have any wiggle room between the tire. You see these four bolts that I installed? They also, in here, allow these little thumb screws, or thumb bolts, whatever you want to call them. You can remove those and you can take the whole chalk forward or backwards. And the way that I did it will allow you to have a couple of different ways to be able to remove this forward for whatever reason. Just in case I've got an extremely small bike and I don't want it all the way back. It just gives you more options. Moving on to my 86 Aero 50 tire. So here you go. Very small Honda scooter from the 80s. That's what this rim is from. It is a 3 dash 10 tire. When you go to install it, you're going to need to adjust this back. And moving it from the second one, four holes to the right. Now when I go to put in my nice little 10 inch tire, look at how nice it locks in place. No room for movement. Very secure. Again, very easy to get your bike on and off. Now this isn't going to really show you how secure it is, but I will in a moment show you with two full-size bikes on how nice this device really is and why it's worth so far every penny to me. The Yamaha Morphus is on the lift and not tied down. The only thing holding it in place is the Condor. This combination of the Harbor Freight Lift and this SCC 4000 Condor are holding this extremely heavy Yamaha Morphous Maxi Bike and it's not moving, it's sitting in there secure. We did a lot of thorough tests, folks. I wanted to make sure of this, and I did before I made this video, and I'm confident now. In the beginning, I wasn't. I wanted to uh, make sure my scooter wasn't going to end up falling off, but it's not. It, it, it is on and just excited. You know, it's, a, it's one of those things where I call these gadgets... 
you know, I call anything that helps me a gadget because it's not part of the original bike. It's a, it's just something that I'm using in order to make my life easier. So when I call something a gadget now, you know why. But it is, look, just sitting there and not moving. I also did a nice test with my Elite 250 as well. As you can see, my Elite 250 also extremely secure, not tied down, and I have no worry that it's going to fall over or come loose. I think the uh, I think the Condor is definitely doing what it needs to and helping me greatly. And last but not least, I wanted to show you how easy it is to fold it down. So. For whatever reason, if you need to make a little room, just remove the pin along with the bar that is in the back. And now you can fold it down, freeing up a little bit of space. You know, it's nice that uh, you know, if you want to put your, you know, some bags or whatever, you want to store some stuff on top of this, it doesn't get in the way by standing straight up. One more bonus feature, I think you can say, of the device. And then when you're ready to use again, obviously you just put the pin and rod back in. And you're ready to rock. The SCC 4000 Scooter Chuck. I definitely go out and buy it. This is the box that came in. I just figured I'd share it with you all. That's the website of Condor along with some of the other things they sell. Maybe this uh, scooter chuck isn't what you're looking for. They got other stuff for dirt bikes, sport bikes, choppers, trailers. I'm sure not limited to just that. So check them out. And this is directly from Harbor Freight. You will find this in every one of their stores if you're looking for a lift. And if you want to adapt what I did, it definitely is a great combination that I highly recommend. Well, that's going to do it for this video, and if you like my channel, please subscribe. Lots of different scooter information, how-to videos, and soon-to-be ride-along vlogs. Those are all coming soon on these vintage bikes. I'm going to look forward to riding them and giving you a perspective that I haven't in the past. And that's going to be a lot of fun. So... If you like my channel, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you like the content, and hit that notification button. I will see you soon.